Today on Chalk a Block Media, I am going to talk to you about the value of video view. So there, come on back. I had a question this week on Facebook from my friend Rob. Uh, he is a filmmaker out of Vegas. He's done documentaries, he's directed a sci-fi feature, great guy. And he asked me for my opinion on what I thought the value of a view was. And it sparked a, a fair bit of conversation in, in the comments. So I would say that in my humble opinion, a view on its own doesn't really have any sort of value. Every view or every conversation, if you will, creates the possibility for engagement. That's the important bit. If you are, say, a doctor, you've written the most amazing book on anger. It is groundbreaking and it's going to help thousands and thousands of people. If you haven't been online, if you haven't been engaging in social media, if you haven't been building your tribe of people, if you haven't been building your community, if you haven't been engaging in conversation, if you haven't been engaging in the comments, you're probably going to release that book to the sound of one hand clapping. Which is kind of quiet. I don't want that for you. <laughs> If, on the other hand, you had been making little short videos all along about anger, about your process of writing, little excerpts from the book, if you had been releasing those all along as you were writing the book, then you probably could have had an audience primed and ready to buy your book or PR folks, um, news agents, etc., ready to have you on their morning show or their talk show or what have you. So really, views are important in what they can do, the, the conversations they can spark. What the viewer does after watching your video is your ROI. That's your return on investment. So have they clicked to subscribe? Have they gone back to your website and left a comment? Have they purchased a product? Have they signed up for your, have they signed up for your services? Have they signed up for your program? What did they do? That kind of traffic is super important. And also, Get in there, get messy, get on Google Analytics, use a third party software, get in there and figure out how they found you, how long did they stay, how many times did they watch the video, did they share the video. We're all responsible for the amount of traffic that we get and the kind of engagement that we foster. At one time, you could buy views. It's getting harder and harder to do that because YouTube has invested time and money and expertise on getting rid of those sort of viewer bots that are that are out there. But in my mind, you don't want a bunch of views that aren't engaged humans who are loving your product, interested in your product, or ready and waiting to hear what you have to say. It's just not authentic. Ugh. Kind of gives me a rash. As we move more and more into video content produced solely for mobile devices, the big guns are really gonna to have to step up to the plate and give us some metrics that are reliable. Google has stepped up to the plate. Uh, in June, they announced that they were going to have more metrics available for brands, more reliable re um, metrics available for brands on mobile sites on mobile devices. So this is this is really good news because we you want to be able to track your views across a variety of platforms. If you're getting more views on your Instagram videos than you are on the videos you're spending a lot of money on that are living on YouTube and on your website, then you may want to funnel more of that funding into what's working and into into Instagram. If there's 8,000 people a week looking at your uh, videos on Instagram and there's only 3,000 on your website, you kind of know where you want to put your energies if you're any kind of marketer at all. Bottom line is I think everyone is looking for connection, everyone is looking for relationships. So keep in mind that every view that you get on YouTube, Instagram, wherever you're putting your video content out there, keep in mind that every single view accounts for one person looking for a relationship. And culture that, nurture that, encourage that, 
get in there, get, talk to people in the comments, um, enjoy your audience, whether you've got 40 viewers or 400,000 viewers. Every single person who's watching is watching because they want to engage with you. I hope that's helped. Don't get all freaked out about the number of views you have. Think about engagement. Think about the metrics. What are people doing after they view? That's the important bit. I am so glad that you've joined me here today, as usual. And if you happen to like the video or thought it helped in some way, give it a like. It's like a virtual high five. It makes me feel so good. Also, head on back to uh, my website. I've got a link below and we can continue the conversation. I would love to know what your goals are around engagement and your videos. So let's continue the conversation back on the website and I will see you next week.